Hello, and welcome to week three of our Math 081 summer course. I'm glad you made it to the week three module and you're starting your week off early by watching the video in the week three overview page. This will give you a great way to um, preview what's coming up this week and also to budget your time accordingly. So if you go into the week three module, you will see that there is a learning page called using the Canvas Equation Editor. This is one of the items I want to draw your attention to this week. So the Canvas Equation Editor is a tool that allows you to type mathematical notation within a text box. And you will be using it for our first exam that's coming up next week during week four. Um, <clears throat> some students have already discovered how to use the Canvas Equation Editor. For example, if we go into the discussion board for last week for the bonus points, if you scroll through your um, classmates' responses, you'll see that some of them uploaded beautiful images of their written work. Um, here's a sample of some written work. Here's another sample of some written work. But you'll also notice some of the students have discovered how to use the Canvas Equation Editor. So this student's response right here, you can see that it's in text, um, but he's using the Canvas Equation Editor in his keyboard to enter this mathematical notation. You see the division symbol, you see how he's using fractions and mixed numbers. This is a tool you're going to use to enter your answers and to show your steps on the first online exam that's coming up next week. So if we go back into the week three module, you see I have a content page called Using the Canvas Equation Editor. This um, page has a video, so if you click on this link here, it links out to a YouTube video I created that walks you through the steps for using the Canvas Equation Editor. So after you watch the quick video, then the next item in the module is a quiz. Now, it's called a quiz, but really all it is is it's four questions um, where I will have some type of mathematical notation already entered, and I just want you to mimic what I did, because the whole point of the quiz is just to learn how to use the Canvas Equation Editor. So, for instance, you could see question one. It's just saying, use the equation editor to type the fraction one-third but I want you to type it so it looks like an actual fraction, not just using the one and the slash symbol on your keyboard, but I want it to look like an actual actual fraction. And then it helps you practice your mathematical notation and helps you practice good habits by writing things appropriately. So if this was me and I was a student and I was trying to enter the fraction one third, here's a little demo. I would use the three button menu to open up some other options on my um, palette here. And this symbol right here that has a square root sign with an X underneath, that's called um, the Canvas Equation Editor that allows you to insert math symbols and math notations. So if I want to enter a fraction, I will click on the icon that looks like a fraction. And then notice it gives me a spot to enter a numerator and a denominator. And so there's my fraction. And so you can see the difference between typing it using the Equation Editor versus just typing the one and then the slash and then the three on my keyboard. So the actual fraction one third is more proper for mathematical notation. And then question two, you can see that we're being asked to enter a whole entire expression. Um, so after you watch the video, you'll be more comfortable using the Canvas Equation Editor to enter an expression such as that. Um, so that's what the Canvas Equation Editor quiz um, is about. So I'm just gonna exit out of here. But when you do it, you'll do all four questions and you will answer them correctly. All right, so let's go back to the week three module. So um, again, you're going to watch the video about the Canvas Equation Editor, and then you're going to take the quick quiz just to practice using it. So by next week, when you take the exam, you're comfortable using the Canvas Equation Editor. And then speaking of the upcoming exam, um, it is going to be due during week four. So if I scroll down in the modules, um, you'll notice that exam one is due on June 21st, which is on Wednesday of next week, week four. Um, but before you take the exam, there is a review guide in more that I want you to be aware of. So I'm going to also go to our more class and just show you where it is. So if you log into more and go to our math 081 course, You'll notice there is a actually two review guides, one for units one through three and another one for units four through six. So exam one of this Math 81 course covers all six of those units, units one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So before you take exam one, I highly recommend you go into more and you work on these review assignments. Um, and these are just like homework assignments. They're not graded, um, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do them <laughs> because they do provide you with a good review for everything we learned in units one through six. And you can do as many of the questions as you need to. Um, if you want to just kind of look through the available questions, you have an idea or you should have an idea by now of which types of questions you need to practice and which ones you don't. Um, and then obviously you can practice the ones that you need practice on as many times as possible. And if you get stuck or you need some extra guidance, you can always watch the instructional video that accompanies the question or you can send me a message. Um, just remember, if you do send me a message, it's really nice because it sends me a screenshot of the question you're working on. But in the text box here, it's always more helpful if you type in your exact question or concern that you have with the problem. So when I respond, I know exactly how to help you. If I just get a screenshot of the problem, I don't know exactly what your question is, like what part of the questions you need help with. Um, and I want to make the most usage of our time the best because I want to respond to you with a direct answer to your question. So you're allowed to type right there so you can um, really give me some detail about what you need help with. Um, but again, I highly recommend that you go back and you review units one through three and four through six before you take that online exam that's going to be due during week four. Okay, I think that is about it um, for my overview of week three. So I wanted to focus your attention on the Canvas Equation Editor and then also using those review assignments um, for the upcoming exam. So now here is the best part of the week three overview. This is your opportunity to earn your two bonus points. So you wanna make sure that you watch this video I have here about adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. Take notes so you have some good guided examples in your notes that you can refer to as you do the secret question. Um, and then in the video you're watching now, here it comes. I'm going to show you the embedded question that is the secret question. So here we go. So here is our secret question. Um, so I want you to copy the fraction operation expression on your paper so you can see we have seven ninths minus three fifths plus 14 over 45. Um, and then you're gonna show your work for finding the least common denominator. Step three, you're gonna rewrite the expression as an expression with equivalent fractions with common denominators and then perform the indicated operations and give a simplified answer. Um, let's just make sure that you are able to see all of that. Let me widen this. I'm kind of worried. Sorry about that. If you were able to see it, you're good. Um, if not, I do want to make this a little bit bigger and center this on the screen so you're sure that you saw it all. I'm a little worried that you didn't see all of it. So there we go. Now this should fall. Perfect. Okay, so if you didn't see it the first time, here it is. Sorry, I had to adjust my screen a little bit. Um, so again, you can pause the video right now and write this problem down on your paper. Copy the fraction operation expression on your paper. Step two, show your work for finding the least common denominator. Step three, write the equivalent fraction operation expression as an expression with equivalent fractions <laughs> with common denominators. And then step four, perform the indicated operations um, to simplify the expression. So you should have one simplified fraction answer when you're finished. And I can't wait to see your work in the week three discussion board. Have a wonderful week.